Now to our market monitor, who has a list of stocks he says you may want to consider buying in these first 100 days of Mr. Trump's presidency. This is his first time joining us on the program. He's Bob Phillips, managing principal of the wealth management firm Spectrum Management Group. It's the first time for you, first day for the new president. How do you think it's going to go the first 100 days or so in the markets? Well, I think it's going to be positive. Uh, if nothing else, Trump is certainly pro-business, and that's going to be a big change from the last eight years. So there should be good things ahead. Let's move on to a couple of your stock picks, uh, and uh, some of them are in areas that a lot of people think are, are already beginning to benefit from uh, the new administration. Let's begin with Valero Energy, the big refiner. Sure. Tyler, you know, you think about it, and the three expected big changes are regulatory relief, infrastructure, infrastructure spend, and tax relief. I infrastructure spend and tax relief take time, but regulatory relief can happen quickly. And you got all the refiners in the country are required to buy. Um, renewable energy credits, and the price of those have doubled in the last year. So if you get some relief there, a company like Valero could uh, actually uh, have a major increase in earnings. And it's already trading at a pretty low multiple and pays a 3.8 percent dividend, roughly. Uh, I think it's uh, got great potential in the first 100 days. All right. Next on the list is U.S. Bank Corp. An interest rate play? Uh, exactly. Plus regulatory relief. So the, the banks rallied very strong, obviously, after the election, and they've been pulling back since the uh, first of the year. But I don't think the interest rate move is finished yet. We don't expect rates to jump tremendously, but they will be rising incrementally, and any kind of incremental move upward is great for the banks. And U.S. Bank is very well run, came out a couple of days ago with earnings release that was positive. So we think they've got uh, great potential there as well. And your third and final choice is uh, United Continental, the airline company. Exactly. And, you know, United Continental uh, has got some, some um, a few headwinds, but they've changed management that's focusing on getting their cost structure in line with major competitors like Delta, and there's a lot that can be done there. But predominantly, you know, the airlines have great leverage in terms of um, what falls to the bottom line, and capacity is being constrained. So we think United has a good potential to uh, increase pricing incrementally. And if we have regulatory relief in the energy field, they're also going to benefit from oil prices staying low or possibly going lower. And they certainly have no uh, sort of dearth of ways to charge you fees in the airline business exactly. these days. That's right. Which is really part of their operating leverage. Bob Phillips, thanks very much. Good luck to you, Spectrum Management. Thank you. Group.